All right, uh, let's look at the homework six, uh, 4.6, 5.1, uh, problem number 13. All right, so again, uh, we have the derivative given and uh, initial value condition, and uh, try to find the original function. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so again, uh, we want to find the original function f of x. So we just need to take an antiderivative. So we need to antiderivative of this given function. All right, so first, I'm going to rewrite this guy a little bit here. All right, so I'm going to split into a you know, smaller fraction. So here you have x squared divided by x squared. That's obviously equal to 1, right? Then we have a minus sign here, so we're going to have a minus, right? Then we have a 9 here divided by x squared. So we're going to have a 9, just a number here, right? So divide by x squared, so since x squared is on the bottom, so we can write it as a x to the negative 2 power, right? So that's that. So let's find the antiderivative here. Right? So this is going to be equal to, antiderivative uh, 1 would be x, right, that's easy, right? negative 9 is just a constant multiple, so I leave that, and add 1 to the power, so it's a negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, and then we have to divide by that power, so which is negative 1. Then since this is an indefinite integral, so we have a plus some constant c. All right, so let's clean it up. And if you see that, uh, let's see, there's a negative sign. So this is negative. This is going to turn into a positive here. All right, so we're going to have, uh, so this is going to be uh, x plus, all right, 9's here. So x to the negative 1 is uh, equivalent to 1 over x. So we can write it as a 9 over x and plus some constant uh, c. All right, then uh, we can use the initial value condition to find the value of c. So we have f of 1, right? So you plug in 1 for x, so it's going to be a 1 plus 9 over x is 1 uh, plus c. So this is going to be a 1 plus 9, so it's a 10 plus c. All right? then this is supposed to be equal to 9, right? So that's here. So if you want to find the value of c, we can simply subtract 10. So you have a c by itself, 9 minus 10 is negative 1. All right, so therefore, we have the uh, complete formula for f of x is equal to uh, x plus 9 over x and the c came out to be negative 1. All right, so let's type it in. All right, so we got uh, x plus 9 over x, oh, x minus 1. All right, let's check the answer. All right, I came back, and it uh, looks like we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.